In today's episode of Roll Notes, we'll be checking out Manhattan Beach. It's located in southwestern Los Angeles County. I'm really excited to check it out today to take some pictures of the different neighborhoods, the pier, and also a power plant that's located right on the beach. I think there could be some really cool scenes here today to make pictures, and I'm super excited to check it out for the third episode of Roll Notes. a perfect day for this. We started off the day by walking around some of the residential neighborhoods of Manhattan Beach. These neighborhoods really surprised me. It just wasn't really what I expected to see. I was really surprised by the hilly landscape. It kind of reminded me a little bit of San Francisco and it was really fun to just walk around and explore these neighborhoods. I like the boat in the distance too, that's pretty cool. Ektar 100. The light is still so harsh that I just might have to. At this point, as the light got a little bit nicer, we headed down to the beach in search of the El Segundo power plant. This is really the reason I wanted to visit Manhattan Beach is to photograph this power plant. I think it could just make for a really interesting scene to have this very industrial looking power plant right on the beach and to kind of photograph what's going on around there. This was quite a walk from where we were, but it's really hard to miss this power plant. It's massive and you can pretty much see it from anywhere within Manhattan Beach. We have been walking for, I don't know, I wanna say a good hour and a half now. I really like this shot that I just got. I think of the runner going past the power plant. It's super weird how in this portion of the beach there's nobody here. I just hope I don't regret putting Ektar in now because I took three shots and yeah, I hope the colors look good. But this is amazing. This power plant is massive. This is not what I expected at all. Oh, here comes an airplane right through the shot. I'm really enjoying photographing this power plant, walking around it, seeing the different perspectives on it. And I think this is really a location that I wanna revisit in the future with some nicer light, maybe even a four x five camera would work really nice here. I think this photo of the couple sitting in front of the power plant really puts it into perspective for me, kind of the scale of it, and also just the feeling that it has when you're just sitting there on the beach and there's these massive smokestacks just right behind you. I'm gonna walk around this power plant a little bit more and just see what else is going on. Dang it, I messed that one up. I wish I got it with this shadow. There we go. That's what I wanted. 
in the first shot I didn't get the biker's shadow on the wall and I think I got it in the second shot so that should look a little bit better. Finally, at the end of the day, we headed to the Manhattan Beach Pier, which has some really nice views of the beach, and there seemed to be a lot of life going on on the pier itself, and it just seemed like a nice place to catch some of the beautiful evening light. I'm trying not to talk too much about the gear in this video series, but I do have to say, when I'm just walking around like this for a whole day, the Mamiya 7 really is quite nice just because of how light it is and the fact that you can just throw it on a normal camera strap, sling it around your shoulder and walk around with it all day no problem makes it really enjoyable to use. Let's wait for a good wave. As a little bonus, I was actually testing out a super 16 millimeter Bolex on this day, which if you don't know, it's a video camera that shoots super 16 millimeter film. I had a roll of Kodak 250D that I was trying out and I was borrowing this camera from my buddy Nima, who was very kind to lend it to me. I just wanted to test it out, make sure that everything was working properly before I shot anything too serious on this camera. So enjoy also some of the test footage that I shot with this thing because I was really surprised at how it turned out and I'm just blown away right now by the look of super 16 millimeter film. I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Musicbed. Musicbed is an incredible online platform to find music for your next video project. I've been using Musicbed since the day I started this channel to find songs for my videos. From the beginning, it was clear that this wasn't just another site with a selection of generic stock music. There are real artists on Musicbed with incredible work 
that you can use for your videos and Musicbed will take care of the licensing in an incredibly easy to use platform. Sometimes finding the perfect song is the inspiration I need to finish a video and Musicbed is always my go-to place to do that. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description to check out Musicbed and use my code Willem at checkout to get your first month free when you sign up for an annual individual subscription. We've been walking up and down the Manhattan Beach Pier here for about an hour or so and it's really nice just watching everything that's going on. Super nice view of the beach here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be much of a golden hour because it does look like there's some clouds in the sky, but I had a ton of fun shooting today. Um, huge thank you to Marty for filming this video. His Instagram will be in the description as well as my Instagram and the music bed link. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.